All right, welcome back. So today we are doing a question called searching a matrix. So here's the question. Given a matrix and that is organized such that the numbers will always be sorted left to right, and the first number of each row will always be greater than the last element of the last row. Search for a specific value in the matrix and return whether it exists. Here's an example. As you can see, the matrix is actually um, formed in a pretty simple way. It's uh, it always goes up one, three, five, eight. It's always increasing. And then also the first element is always bigger than the last element on the previous row. So then 10, 11, 15, 16, 24, 27, 30, 31. So that's pretty nice. It's uh, it's literally just sorted. It's just a sorted matrix, extremely sorted. So let's go to the uh, drawing board. It's bigger than the last element on the and think about how we can do this. So here we have our matrix. Whoopsies. Uh, let me get that back on. Okay, so here we have our matrix. So the key to, the, to this question, how to find uh, if the value is in it, just do one by one, and then you can see if it's there or not, and that would take um, log of, um, that, that would take a O of N operation. And the reason, or actually, because you could do it some, somewhere better. And the reason why you could do it better is because it's sorted. So how can you take advantage of this sorted uh, matrix? Well, the, the key to this is that you can look at it as a huge array. Right. If you look at it as a huge array, then it's it's essentially just an array question masked with the matrix. So if you look at this, it would give you 1, 3, 5, 8, 10, 11, 15, 16, 24, 27, 30, and 31. So that's essentially the array that represents the matrix. And uh, if I gave you this array and I asked you to say, um, is this element, like for example, 15 inside this array, then how would you do it? Then you'd probably say, yeah, I'll just do a binary search because it's sorted. And that's exactly what you have to do with this question. You just have to do a binary search, but on the matrix instead of the array. The only hard part or the tricky part is to know how to do a binary search on the matrix. So just do a normal binary search, but you're going to be using uh, some characteristics like the row length and the column length to find the element that you're supposed to get to. Instead of using an array, you map the array number to a row and column. So let's take an example. Let's take 15. Okay. And then what's the uh, array index? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's 6. So how can you map six into a row and column uh, array index zero one two three column length so how so what is the row and what is the column and we'll try to reverse engineer this so the row which row is it zero one the row is one which column is it zero one two columns two so what kind of operation can you do on so the key here is to divide this array index by the column length to get the row right and the reason why is because so you want to know which row is it? Is it this one, this, the zeroth row, the first row, or the second row? Then what you want to do is you just want to divide by four because the column length is four, and then it'll tell you in which row it is. So this is essentially six divided by uh, four, which is the column length, right, this guy. And then to get the column number, how do you get that? Well, you know that it's um, there's four elements here. So what you wanna do is you wanna get this element. And now two, how do you get two? So then how do you get this is you do six and then you mod it by four. And then when you mod it by four, it gets two. And then which is this, zero, one, two. So then that's pretty much how you get, uh, you map from the array index to row and column. So then what you do is you just do a normal binary search, but each time you wanna uh, select a, um, a number, you wanna select your middle. What you wanna do is you wanna just map the index into a row and column, and then that's what you do. All right, so let's do the code for this. Actually, before we go to the code, let's talk about the time complexity. So the time complexity would be log of mn. The reason why is because m times n equals the number of um, number of elements in the array, the long array. And then usually when you do binary search, it's logarithmic time. So that's it. Yeah, m meaning column and then n meaning row. So then that's it. And then in terms of space complexity, because we don't add anything, then it's uh, constant. So O of 1. Oops, O. Yeah. All right, let's do the code for this. So first what you want to do is check the length. This is the base case. 
If the length is equals to zero, it means there's nothing in it anyway, so we're gonna return false no matter what. Now we want the row length, and that would be the length of the matrix. And then column length would be the row, the length of one of the rows. So we'll just take the first one. Oops. All right, so now we start doing the binary search. So for low, we're gonna initialize it to zero. And then for the high, we're gonna initialize it to the length of the uh, array that would have been. So which is m times n, which is row length times column length. And now what we do, we just do a simple binary search and uh, you should know how to do this like on top of your head. So it's, you get the mid first, which is low plus high divided by two. And then now the now what you wanna do is you wanna access it, right? So that's a little bit different. So you use, you access it by doing uh, kind of like the array, but instead you're gonna get the row and column by doing mid divided by column length, okay? And then you also do the mod column length equals value. If it is equal value, then you return true, that's good. And then the other case is if uh, it's smaller than your value. If it's smaller than a the value, then you want to go um, you want to go to the left, right? And how do you do that? You make low equals to mid plus one, and then else high becomes mid, and then. If you still can't find it, once you've uh, completed this binary search, you return false. So let's see if it works, we run it. Excellent, so for this, it's supposed to turn false, and then this is true, and then that's it. So let's try a few more. Let's search for 30. It should give us true. Excellent. Yep, so that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. And um, yeah, I hope you learned a lot. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.